Hey Shooby Doodlers, it's still August at the seaside and you're going to need to know how to draw a beach sun umbrella. So let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. Now to draw a beach umbrella, what we're going to need is an ellipse. Something like that. And then we're going to want kind of at 90 degrees to that. Then we're going to want to have the pole, which is going to be sticking down into the sand. If you can hear any purring, I've got my cat sitting on my lap, by the way. Um, and that's looking about right. I'm just going to zoom out a fraction. A beach umbrella is not circular. It has, it's actually sort of cut up into eight sections. So I'm going to do that there, and then I'm going to cut the, have a main section there, and they're quite square as well. So, in fact, that wants to go back that way because we've got perspective going on, haven't we? So then that brings there. So then the, this will be slightly smaller, like that. And then we're going to want to have the dome of the umbrella going like that. So this, these spokes will be going that way, and these spokes will be going that way. And you're going to see those spokes going there, those spokes going there, and then these spokes will be kind of coming down quite quite vertically really down that way and you're going to see a slight curve there and also a slight curve there we're going to have the 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 pole is usually cut in two with a little handily kind of thing like that um, we're going to want that bit there from which the um what are they called spokes <laughs> so there's going to be spokes there'll be one going to there one going to there one to there one to there one to there i mean you can imagine another uh ellipse in there that they will all be connected to but that is basically what we're dealing with now we also have these little flappy things on the hanging down. In fact these will want to be going slightly that way because you have to think about the gravity so they'll be folding in a bit like that and that will be hanging out. So I'm going to take that curve up there but then I'm going to just bring it in slightly at the top and then curve it back out there. This will just curve to there. I'm going to come around here so where is that coming from that point there and then this will curve just slightly beneath it and you might want a little bit of a, a dome bit on the top uh, this will be kind of stitched so you've got to think of gravity is slightly bringing these down at a different angle certainly on on this one here so we're seeing the inside of that one. And here we're going to be able to see kind of the the outside of that one because that's kind of hanging inside. It's a bit weird. Very weird angle. Uh, I'm going to do the spokes now. And then we can do that part of it, which will then come down to this is the bit where the two poles are going to interconnect. I'm going to bring them down there, like that. And we're going to want to see that going off there and that one there. Good, and then I'm going to bury that in the sand. That will be the beach. And that will be the sea in the background. When you're sure the ink is dry, erase those pencil lines. Put a little bit of shadow up the side there. Not sure why I'm putting it on that side really. I'm imagining the sun is coming this way because that's why you put a sun umbrella up. And you're going to get two different shades. So I'm going to Put a bit of shade there, 
and slightly curve the flex as I do that. And these will be alternate colours here, so I'm just going to shade that in as I will do with that one. So that will be a dark one, then these will be dark too. And then this will be dark as well. Need another bit of shade in there. And then the inside is going to be darker generally. That should be a bit darker there. And then I'm going to do some kind of cross hatch just to give a bit of shape to it. And then we're going to want some waves. And if the light's coming down here, then we're going to want some shadow to put it on the beach. <laughs> Let me get that in about there. Well, if you enjoyed that and you're wondering what to draw next, go and find this video showing you how to draw a mermaid. You can have her swimming in the background or in the sea. Oh, go and try the mystery drawing instead. Either way, make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel for new drawing videos every Monday and Friday. Go and visit my website, Shoe Rainer Drawing, to see what's happening. And in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.